She says, thank you for arriving. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. This is so close. close. This Cornucopia. Try instead of train. I love this show. Hi, welcome back to The Buzz. I'm your host, Mia Hinkins, and today I'm joined by two fellow com girls, Deanna Hernandez and Kat Taylor, for the first all-female panel on The Buzz. That will lead us into our first topic, which is, how is it to be a girl in com and a, and a major with all boys? How does it feel? It's, it's, it's rough sometimes, let's be honest. It is. We are the minority, clearly, and it took a lot of getting used to at first, for sure. A lot of uh, sports, a lot of smells, a lot of <laughs> yelling, <laughs> which I'm a loud person myself, but when, when you get those boys in a room together, it definitely, they, they get going sometimes, so. Especially boys who have a major such as sports announcing. Oh yeah. They love to talk. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh no, we talked about this like before we even met, because I remember like I saw you on the Wingsburg post, so I was like, oh, it's another girl who's doing something in communication, so I was like, let me message her, and you were like, yeah, there's no, there's barely any other girls, I'm like, this is just going to be interesting to be one of the few girls in like a majority male space, but it's definitely been interesting. I think in our freshman class, there's only, what, four? I think there's four. Yeah, four, four? of us. Which, I mean... I didn't know that. <laughs> we have a, it's a pretty good number. We could use some more. We'd always <laughs> we love some more girls. But are you guys happy with your major so far? Would you say that you're glad you're in the comm department? Do you wish you would have done something, maybe such as education, with a few more girls in there? Or are you happy with your majors? I'm happy with it. Um, I love what I do, and as much as you know, these guys will stress you out. They're all pretty great, and they've all become good friends of mine. And obviously, I've gotten close to you guys. We have no choice but to be. We're, we only have each other, and I'm really happy with just the way it's going and kind of the opportunities I have. Right. Yeah. I'm really happy with it. The biggest thing for me was I didn't. I like starting off. I was like, I don't feel like I'm gonna fit in at all. Like I was like. I'm not like 100% sure of this major, like I, I genuinely just chose it to be like, maybe, <laughs> but I ended up just like really loving it and love being involved and I was never like, in, I worked in high school so I was like never involved in like extracurricular stuff and now I'm like super involved in everything so it's, it's nice to be involved and that's why I just like it so much for yeah. sure. I'd say definitely a shout out to all the guys that are in the comp department, you guys have really led the way and you've really helped us out. I know me coming in as a freshman for sure, I didn't really know a lot about communications at all. I just knew that I wanted to be a sports announcer someday. So learning how to work with cameras and teleprompters and being a host like I am right now, it's, it's, it's good. It, it helps a lot having you know, male figures or, and female figures such as Meg Berry, another female in our comm department. Queen. <laughs> having people like that has really helped us for sure to learn just kind of the ropes in the comm department and, and really settle in, I feel like. Don't you guys think? Oh yeah, for sure. It's, you know, we've had a lot of great leadership in this last year and the, spe the seniors especially and as they're going, you know, it's kind of following in their example and especially Meg who, you know, she's going to be pretty big in the next, um, it's just, just something that we're going to keep looking to, towards and kind of trying to strive to be here, although we can never really be. You can never like, be Meg Berry. It's no. true. It was just like stuff that the upperclassmen have taught like us in the last like just couple months. Like I never thought I would learn so much in such like a small amount of time. Like just like with like equipment, just like how to like interact with everybody. Like I didn't think I would, and here I am. So that's. Just and like, I will say, being in PR, I do actually have a lot more of the females. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so. in sports announcing, so it's <laughs> basically me and Meg. But it's pretty. It's a good time. And Haley Ryan. Haley Ryan will be our host later for a game that we're playing. But yeah, it's it is very limited numbers. But I will say, I have really enjoyed it, and I find it. I find it honestly empowering. I feel. I feel very. I don't know, honored to be part of this group. I mean, there's not many women in a profession like sports announcing or, I mean, I guess PR there is, but still in our comm department, there aren't as many girls. So 
to be one of the few is, I don't know, special to me. I feel honored to work with a good group of girls, even if it's just four or five of us. Yeah, um, I, like you said, PR definitely has more girls. Um, and so I've got the side of both, but everyone in PR, like they're all great. Like Bailey, she's been such a great, like kind of like older sister figure, I feel like in these last few months. And um, that's kind of like my escape when it's like, I need to get away from all these sports guys. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> like sure. Yeah. PR, and um, so that's, it's a lot of people that I look up to, for sure. And yeah. I want to be like, and it's yeah. a great community to be in, for sure. And I know like during like when we did like Wusun production, sometimes it would just be like me and you, or me and you, and then like one other girl. We would just be like, wow, there's no other girls here, but we'll just like stick together and just like have our, and that's always nice too. Yeah, it is nice to have a group, I will say. I play basketball, so I wasn't at as many basketball productions. However, I was at the last one for the men's game, <laughs> and I had a great time. I was with Kat, I was with Deanna, I was with Meg, I was with Haley, and it's just a good environment. I mean, I think it's really important to have such close relationships with females in this major. I feel like it just helps with connections, too. Like, I feel like Meg knows a good amount of people that can help you get up to where you need to be in your career, and I don't know, I just appreciate that, and I, I appreciate you guys as friends in the comm department. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's all for this segment. I just want to wrap it up, and I want to say thank you to all the comm girls in sports announcing, in PR, in sports information. I appreciate all of you, and of course we appreciate all the guys that we're with as well. We'll be back with the next segment, which we'll be doing a top five of some girly things. See you then. Sports information and athletic communication majors here at Waynesburg University take on the responsibilities of the pros. As a sports information athletic communication major, you'll take on tasks such as talking to coaches, public address announcing, tracking and spotting live stats, as well as running those stats to the TV and radio announcers and keeping the crowd occupied with the live video board. We have alum currently working for the Washington Wild Things, Akron Rubber Ducks, the Miami Dolphins, and numerous Division I programs. So what are you waiting for? Come here and join us at Woo. Hi, welcome back to the next segment of The Buzz. I'm your host, Mia Hinkins, and I'm back with my panel, Deanna and Kat, to discuss our top five ever. Anything you want. Your top five favorite things in life. Deanna, why don't you start us out? All right, we're gonna go number five, Marvel. Um, I feel like one. being a girl that likes Marvel is kind of like being a girl in calm. So it's pretty good. Love it. Love the movies. The actors are fun to look at. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. it's that's that's it. That's yeah. all I have to say. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My top five. It's the fifth one is kind of weird, but it's like gonna make sense when I explain it. It's like having a, an event that's like coming up in the week. Having like, something to look forward having to. Having something to look yeah, forward to. Yeah, I would to. agree. If with I that. don't have something to look forward to, what's the point? Like, that's just. There is no <laughs> so point. So it's like, if there's like something I have that's upcoming. Especially if it's a concert. It's always going to be that's like. That's true. I that's base my favorite. like my weeks off of, okay, what do I have this day? What do I have this day? Exactly. And if there's nothing fun. There's no point. I don't want to be awake. I'm going to be asleep in my bed. I'm not going to be up doing things. So yeah. yeah. My number five is movies in general. I was gonna do a specific movie like Deanna, but I'm gonna go movies in general. I personally love movies. I watch a movie, this might sound crazy, every night before I go to bed. Like a new one, an old one that I've seen already. I watch one every night before I go to bed. I don't even care what time I get in bed. I could get to bed at 1.30 a.m. I'm going to finish a movie before I go to bed or my night is completely wasted. So I need your dedication. Yeah, you can have my dedication. I need I, my, that. You don't want my sleep schedule though, it's bad. <laughs> but it's worth it. I've seen a lot of movies. So I mean, I'm, I can talk about movies with people, which is a good, so it's you, a good not, pro. Movies specifically, not shows. Movies specifically. I, I kind of struggle to sit through shows. I just. See, I'm the complete opposite. Like I yeah. struggle to watch movies. If a movie's like two hours or more, like I'm going to go on my phone the whole time and yeah. get distracted. I feel like you're one or the other. Um, I'm not either. I feel like I struggle with both. I think it's the social media girl thing. I yeah. can't <laughs> sit there for that long and watch. Because I feel like nowadays, movies are so long and shows are so long yeah. that sometimes it's a struggle it's unless I really, really am invested. Yeah, I get that. I just like, yeah, shows I struggle with. I'll start a show, I'll get three episodes in, and I'm like, See, I'm I use tired. a show as like background noise. Like yeah. If I'm yeah. doing I'm, something, yeah. I'll put it on Especially as like a comfort noise. show. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah. exactly. Okay, Deanna, you're number okay. four. 
Oh, let me bring out my prop for this. <laughs> you see this right here? Okay, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna call me basic, but it's okay. I said water bottles in general. Back home, I used to have a, one of those really big ones, the yeah. gallon ones. That was my favorite. And then my sister got me this for Christmas. So now this is it. Cause look at how pretty it is, okay? And it's cute. Like it has a little, look at that. And the cow, like, come on. Like, yeah. I feel so motivated to drink water. It just makes it so much better. Um, so Stanley's or water bottles in general, always have one, always will have one, always have like three drinks in my hand at all times. That's a girl thing, I've heard. Yeah. Oh yeah. Coffee, gonna, water, and like an energy always. drink. I'm gonna agree and disagree with you because I love water bottles, but I'm personally a hydro flask girl. But I do have a Stanley, but not like this one. See, I have the one with the little flip lid. That's what I have. Yep. And I, that, like, my friend has, like, I have friends that, like, when we're on walks with those, like, the water just, like, starts spilling everywhere when yeah. they're holding it on the side. Yeah, and that's there's stoppers for it. But yeah, that's true. Yeah. But, yeah, I do like a Hydro Foss better, but. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Your fourth my, cat. I'm, you guys could definitely really, if you have little sisters, but my fourth is, like, giving my little sister like life advice okay yeah it's just like like a moment like a thing in life that i'm like oh. because i have an older sister and like when i was younger she would give me advice so it's like a full circle moment where like now i'm giving because my little sister's like almost in high school it's like yeah so full circle she has lessons to learn oh yeah oh and yeah you have the advice for it so oh, yeah. yeah i get that yeah my number four is an ice cold coca-cola specifically the mini Cokes, I don't like the normal size ones. Okay. I have to have like the mini can. For some reason, it's like the perfect amount for me. And I don't, I always see people like making fun of the mini Cokes because they're like, why would you take more of it away? But like a regular size Coke just makes my stomach hurt. And a mini Coke is like, I don't know. It's like perfect. Like, I don't know. It's just it like- better. It does. It's, it's petite, like no, me. I'm gonna go into my number three with that because mm -hmm. I put Dr. Pepper. See that my, <laughs> yeah. my third was like fountain diet coke. Yeah, yeah specifically no. <laughs> from the fountain only. It's like a weird thing. I feel like wherever you drink it from, people say it's better. No, yeah. I I, I think the fan? mini cans yeah. are better. Yeah, I, I like, like mini cans. Like can or fountain? I don't like bottles. Like it yeah, I don't either. Taste. I can only the do plastic. plastic. Glass. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, a glass, glass bottle. That's true. One. That is yeah. A, yeah. Chipotle has like the glass Chipotle bottles. But those are good. Those I mean, Coke bottles, not Chipotle bottles. Sorry. Glass Coke bottles, yeah, those are good. But yeah. I think Dr. Pepper is better. I wasn't always a Dr. Pepper girl. Yeah, I'm from See, the East, and I hear that's more of a Midwest I thing. And then I went Dr. to the Midwest and tried Dr. Pepper. I do like Dr. Pepper, yeah. To me, it tastes like cherry. And yeah. I always was a fan of, like, cherry vanilla okay. Coke. Yeah, cherry vanilla Coke's good. Have you guys had lime Coke? What? That's my favorite. Lime. Whenever I go to the movie theaters, like uh, in Morgantown where I'm from, I go to the movie theater and they have one of the, like, you know, like the big soda machines yes. where you can, like, pick stuff. I, that I have... That I always get the lime Coke because when I drink regular Coke, like in a glass, I squeeze a lime into it. It's like perfect. Have you ever had like the like the Easter like the Peep Coke? No. There's a Peep. Coke? Yes, I swear it, it. It's a thing. It tastes like Peeps. Yeah. I, I don't swear. know how I feel about that. I one. will say I just had raspberry spiced Coke. That sounds good. It's really good. It tastes like like Christmas, but also like, like summer <laughs> too. Like a mix of like I don't know. It's like fruit punch and like I, I don't know fruit punch and like Christmassy cinnamon. Yeah, like some sort of like okay. spice that you would have at like Christmas. I don't know. It's delicious and you should all try it. It's amazing. Okay, did you both do your three? You did. Yes, we did. Yep. Okay, my three is a Dairy Queen chocolate dipped cone. A lot of the con people know by now. I'm at Dairy Queen a lot. I love Dairy Queen. Um, it's also March 19th, which means that it is free cone day at Dairy Queen. So everyone go get one. They're so good. But yeah, I love the chocolate dip cone from Dairy Queen. But recently, I've also loved the confetti dip cone from Dairy Queen. Is it good? It's delicious. It tastes like a cupcake. What which... ice cream do you have underneath, though? So I get vanilla. Okay. Yesterday, I went to get one, though, and I asked for chocolate, and they gave me vanilla. So I'm wondering if it doesn't taste good. With... I don't know. I feel <laughs> like it, maybe it wouldn't taste good with chocolate, but you never know. It could. I don't know. I like chocolate ice cream more than vanilla, though, personally. So okay. that was just my choice. But choice. chocolate dipped is my favorite and I will always get it. They don't sell the cherry ones anymore, do they? They don't, I think it's seasonal. It might be like a summer mm. thing, but the cherry are good. I do like the cherry. I've never had the chocolate ones. Yeah, the chocolate's good. It's just like, you know, basic, but it's delicious and I love it. Okay, that's my three. Okay. My number two, skincare. Mm. My favorite thing, I love mm -hmm. good skincare night. Give me all, I put like everything, like I try everything and I put it 
I use it all the time, every single night. I cannot go to bed unless I do my skincare routine, like makeup off, clean your face, double cleansing, all the serums, everything. I have to do it. You're way better than me I'm because not I like forget. This. Yeah, <laughs> I will fall asleep. Like I don't wear that much makeup, but if I, d I'll fall asleep. That's how I am. Yeah. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I still have to wash my face. Yeah, I I will say I wash my face every night. I do my skincare every night, but my skincare is not intense at all. I literally I use a toner, just wipe off the face. You know, you'd be surprised how much dirt's on your. I'm sure you know this. You'd oh, yeah. be surprised how much dirt's on your face. <laughs> then I use a moisturizer, basic Cetaphil. You know, and then I use. Tea tree oil. Do you I guys use tea, tea tree, tree oil? oil? It gets rid of any blemish that I have ever. Anything. It's perfect. So yeah, that's my skincare routine, and that's it. And I don't even use toner in the morning. I only use it at night. But yeah, no. It varies from day to morning. Different ones, different toners. Oh my gosh. Day and morning, different serums. Day and morning. Tea tree and green tea are my mm -hmm. favorite things of all time because tea tree will get rid of anything, and then green tea will like make it less red. Yeah. And okay. It's, it's I think it's an art form. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was like you. Yeah. My Free skincare lesson. My thing with skincare is just like, I'll like get like really nice products and then like I'll just never end up using them. Like, yeah. like I got stuff that you recommend and I just never ended up using it. <laughs> yeah. I will buy expensive stuff like skincare. I'm like, let me splurge on this because I've heard it's good. And then I'm like hesitant to use it because I don't want to run out oh, of yeah. it and then have to repurchase it. So I'm like very hesitant and oh, then yeah. I forget to use it. But I mean. The expensive stuff works more. Like, it's better. I hate to say it, yeah. but, but I do use That's cheap true. stuff. So going into my number, mm. number two, is that what we're on? I think yes. so. Yeah, number two. My number two is watching football with my dad. <laughs> so That's a good one, yeah. Like, I grew up in Boston, so big, we were big Patriots fans <laughs> <Boo>. during, <Yeah. laughs> during, like, that peak, that peak era. So, like, just, like, always watching, like, football with my dad and my older sister and my little brother, like, that's just, like, all I ever remember. Then when we moved, like, to Pittsburgh, because my mom is originally from Pennsylvania, so we still, like, we'd watch, like, the Steelers here and there, but, like, then moving to Pittsburgh is, like, still watch the Steelers, and then, like, I started to become, like, a Steelers fan, and so did my dad, so, like, it's just, like, kind of like that, like, bond, and it just reminds me of my childhood, so that's yeah. my number two for sure. It's a good one. My number two is also sports-related, so that was, like, perfect. My number two is basketball. Um... I love basketball. I've played basketball since I was like four years old and I play here at Waynesburg. So I just love it. And I actually, I can connect this to you again. I learned how to play basketball from my dad. My dad also played basketball here. And he is like a big part of the reason why I love it so much. And we just, it's like something that we bond over. And I just, I don't know, I love basketball. It's just, it's fun to watch. It's fun to play. It's fun to coach. Sometimes I coach like the little kids when I do it and it's so fun. So yeah, that's honestly, yeah. That was a quick description, but I love basketball. That's my number yeah. two. Yeah. I'm not a sports girl. Um, my parents tried, but I would say <laughs> baseball. Baseball was it. I yeah. do watch baseball with my dad, and that's probably the most I'll go into that world. But anyways, ready for number one? Yeah, number right, one. Number one. one, girl math. That's okay? a good one. Yep. Y'all know by now, y'all have seen my video on our comm page, girl math. It makes sense. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what any of you guys say. It makes sense <laughs> and it makes my life valid and worth living, okay? It's how I get through my week and that's just how it is. It's, it's true and I will stand by it every single day. Okay. I hate math, but girl math is real. Yes, it's, and, it is. You know, this is kind of not girl math, but it kind of relates. Something I've been saying a lot is like whenever I do something, like I make a mistake or I do something wrong, I'm just a girl. Yes. Like, yes, that's exactly. girl math. Like, exactly. I'm literally just a girl. How do you expect me to do that? Like, sorry. Exactly. I'm just a girl. A teenage girl at that. Mm -hmm. Not a woman I'm yet. Just a <laughs> I'm just a teenage girl. Exactly. That's my girl math. To live by. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, girl math is 100% valid. Yeah. 100%. My number one, and this is like, I didn't even have to think of it. Like, I knew the number one before <laughs> anything else, and that's going on late night dress with my friends and blasting ah, music. Yeah. Good one. Always yes. the number one. Like that's like, I'll always look forward to it. Maybe if they like stop, stop at Sheets. Yeah. Well, you know. Wawa. Well, okay. I like Wawa. I've never been to Wawa. You've never been to Wawa? Never. I don't have one anywhere near me. See, I stay in like, I go to like Maryland in the summer. So yeah. we, every year I've gotten Wawa. And I think that Wawa breakfast is better than Sheets breakfast. I think Wawa is just better than Sheets in general. Mm, but that's a I don't know about that. I'm going to have to try it. I, I we have a lot of Sheets around my area like 
every like three minutes is a sheets, but I have never been to a Wawa. Not the biggest fan. Really? So far. I like sheets, but like it's not something I'm gonna like. No, I crave go to Wawa. Wawa. I like, really. Yeah, I don't I, really like crave sheets. I can sheets. relate to that. I do think of like like the breakfast, like because like it's a vacation thing for me, so it's like I'm always like we're driving, like yeah. I need to get the. No, I'm like whenever I go home, I'm like I need Wawa. Really? Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a problem. I'm gonna try that yes. because. I'm I'll hearing good Jersey reviews. Yeah, take me. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Okay, my number one is kind of a basic one, but I love the beach so much. I love it. Um, I go to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. I went there before the show was popular, just saying, because everybody started going to Outer Banks after the show came out, and I was like, I've done this for 18 years, so I love Outer Banks. We, I've gone ever since I was a baby. It's my favorite beach, it's great. And we don't do a lot of like, like my family, we're more of just like go to the beach. We go to the beach at like 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. and we're on the beach until like 4 p.m. Like we don't do anything on the beach except hang out on the beach, swim in the ocean, play some games on the beach, you know, yeah. and then go to dinner, get some ice cream, come back. It's perfect. Hang out, play cards, that's what we do. We don't do any like touristy things when we go to the yeah. beach. I feel, like, I feel like that's not like super common. No, Unless you guys I mean, do that too. I'm from Jersey, so it's like the Jersey Shore is yeah. right there, and I live like five minutes away from a beach, twenty minutes away from like the rest of the shore. So yeah, it's just on our days off from work, we'll say let's go to the beach and we hang out and we do things there. A lot of beaches in Jersey um, are known for like the boardwalks, but we go to the ones that don't have the boardwalks, and See, yeah, it's less crowded, so much better. I wish like I'm like same in a in like in some way growing up in like Massachusetts, like mm-hmm. I lived like ten minutes away from the beach where I was. So it would just be like, oh, just go to the beach. But now when I go on vacation, since it's like kind of far, it's like all day thing. Yeah. All so day thing. That's too. Sure. I'm from West Virginia. So <laughs> definitely there's no not really an there. ocean near me except like Virginia Beach, which is like still far. It's like, I don't even know how far that is from me. I've never been. But Outer Banks oh. is like eight, <laughs> nine hours from me. But it's worth it. I like a car ride, so it's fine. Like I'm, I can deal with it to go to the beach for a week. I, I like it. So yeah. Okay, we now have some honorary mentions. So mm-hmm. do you want to name your all of them or do you want to do one by one? We could do all of them. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mentioned this one before, having three drinks at once. Mm-hmm. Give me coffee, <laughs> give me water, and then give me some type of energy drink or juice. Uh, raspberry tea, perfect. Um, salt and vinegar chips, specifically kettle cooked chips. I think kettle cooked, oh, chi- yeah. kettle cooked chips are so much better than any other chip. I agree. More I, flavor. Mm-hmm. I will ride that train till I die. Till you break a tooth. Yes. And then everything showers. Uh-huh. Favorite. Mm-hmm. On your resets, you go through the whole process, especially because my hair, it takes its time. I'm not washing my hair every single day. As weird as it sounds, you can't do that with curls. So everything yeah. showers is my time to like reset. I feel like a new woman. And finally, the love, my favorite thing ever, boba. <laughs> love boba. Uh, brown sugar boba or passion fruit green tea with tapioca pearls. I... I'm not a boba girl. I'm also an everything shower girl. And everything shower, I get overheated. Really? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta make it quick. I can't I take, take forever. Cold showers. I get really overheated. So and then cold showers? Yeah. Cold. Cold. Oh, mine's like full <laughs> heat. Maybe that's why I'm overheated. I'm a little concerned. Yeah. I yeah. like yeah. cold showers. <laughs> like, like I hate like warm water. I'll take a cold everything shower water. next time. Or like lukewarm. Something. Like, it's not yeah. cold. I'm, I'm, I'm like cold. Steam, like, yeah. Mine's freeze. like steaming hot. Yeah. It's gotta be cold. Yeah. Have any honorable mentions? Yet? So I actually didn't like have any honorable mentions like picked out, but from you talking now, I think I have some. You mentioned the beach, like I feel like this is something like a lot of people can relate to, but like a turkey sandwich with like potatoes, like chips, oh, like yeah. after a long day on the beach. Yes, mm-hmm. that's just like kettle it, it really just hits. Okay, <laughs> you, 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 you get a little kettle sand chips. in there on accident. You know when you bite into a sandwich on the beach and you're <laughs> no. like, that's sand, but it's like. <laughs> It's the experience. It no, makes it worth it. Yeah. And then, of course, I think Celsius. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I saying. love Celsius. Yeah, love Celsius. and her Celsius problem. I haven't had, cel- like, I haven't had one in, like, a couple days. <laughs> but that's, like, it's a while for me. But you just, like, I, my love for Celsius, like, I was addicted, like, straight up addicted to them. I couldn't go, like, more than, like, three consecutive hours without one. Yeah. But I'm okay now after, you know little hospital scare so we're good <laughs> oh, <laughs> good no. yeah she learned her lesson okay. i learned my lesson what's your favorite flavor um i have like three i like arctic vibe mm-hmm. the berry um and 
peach. Yeah. yeah. Peach is my favorite. That's, I also like kiwi guava. Mm, See, I good. don't like that. I gave all of mine. Dry. That was my like original oh, flavor yes. until I tasted like the vibe ones, like yeah. peach vibe, arctic vibe. Those are my second. Peach vibe is definitely, I'd say the best. Yeah, one. they're good. Yeah. Is that what you had for? That's all I had. I couldn't think of <laughs> my else honorable mentions. My are Taylor Swift. I love Taylor Swift. I saw her on tour. She was awesome. I've been a fan forever. This is a weird one. Anklets. I love anklets. Yes. I wear anklets mm. for like two years at a time. I make them and then I wear them forever. And then my last one is my brother. Shout out to my brother Kai. I love it. I love him. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> That's all we have for this segment. We will see you next segment where we will be playing a game with our host Haley Ryan. You're watching WCTV, where we aim to bring you the best local coverage of what you care about most. Everything from local businesses to hometown sports and the latest weather. We're keeping up to date with what you need to know about issues that affect our campus and our community. We're telling the stories that matter, celebrating our past, our future, and our potential. So tune in for all the latest buzz right here on WCTV Channel 14, Waynesburg. Welcome back in here to The Buzz. I'm Haley Ryan, and we are going to be playing a lovely, fun, interesting game with some of these girls. I mean, there's a little confusion about it, so I'm going to pass it off to Deanna, actually, to give a little bit more of an explanation because she can do it way better than I can. So take it away. So we are going to play Blank Slate, and Haley's going to read out a card with a saying on it. It could be one word. It could be a sentence. At the end or at the beginning is going to be a blank spot. Our job is to fill in that spot with a word. Now, the way we get points is we have two people that match. You get three points. If all three of us have the same word, we only get one point. And if you don't match with someone, you get no points. Sound good? Sounds good, yeah. See, she did that way better than I could have <laughs> ever. But let's see how, you know, interlinked you guys are so the first word is micro blank okay dana was quick with that one i think i know what you wrote but okay heck <laughs> i changed my mind okay all right everyone has your words yes. so let's start with mia i wrote management micromanagement mm. oh mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes. Microorganism. Oh. See, I wrote micro like biology. Micro like mm -hmm. well. So, <laughs> so no. So no points. We don't know each wow. other very well. No points. We're no really points. not on the same yeah, no page. Points. No points. Okay. That's okay. You know, we're try. using our way into this game. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. So okay. the next word is door blank. There's an easy answer. Is it too easy, Deanna? Be good. Yeah, I'm ready. ready. Okay, I wrote doorknob. I also wrote doorknob. So did I. Yeah. Okay, so what? We all get we just one, get one point. One point. Okay, that okay. was good. Honestly, okay, we did it. Guys. We're getting better at this. Okay. <laughs> Fire blank. Hmm. Ooh. We have this ready. I was. I was quick. Okay. Fire truck is what I wrote. Firecracker. Mm. I wrote fire station. Ugh. Oh. That was close. That was, we were so close. We were in the same realm. I didn't want to You guys were in the same Just station. Just not quite the same word. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pay blank. Ooh. Yeah. I put payday. Yes, my favorite day. Uh, yes. Payday. Me too. I put paycheck. Ooh. So oh, you guys gosh. both get yeah. Or three. We so got three, three points. Three. Three. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Pay Already day. our that's, first sync of the, the favorite day. That's the admissions the best day. mentality. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we have one where the blank is in front this time. So it is blank pie. Oh. I feel like this is an opinion. Yeah. Okay. I wrote pumpkin pie. It's my favorite pie. Mm -hmm. No? Nothing? No. No. Apple pie. Apple pie. Yes! Dang it. <laughs> Apple pie is the best pie. Yes. Is that your Confirmed. favorite? Oh. 
Always. I'm a pumpkin girl. Yeah, no, I, I love pumpkin. pumpkin. That's really? your downfall. That is. I love. It's the pumpkin. texture of pumpkin pie for me. It's. <laughs> that's why I like it. It's like baby food. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Next one, blank ball. If you didn't put this, I'm gonna yeah. write. No, my instinct was the I right one. I feel like one, there's one answer here. I know what you wrote. You wrote okay. I know yeah. what you wrote. I wrote basketball. So did I. Duh. Yeah. And I knew she was going to write that, so yeah. I changed my answer and I wrote basketball. <laughs> okay, we all got it. Yeah, we all get one. Which we means get one, one point. I keep getting it mixed up. I feel like we get more whenever we're all together, but that's not Yeah, right. we're just okay, going yeah. with the flow. Yeah. Good choice there. I think that was... Mm -hmm. yeah. I had to switch. I'm like, wait, it's Mia. <laughs> Sun blank. I don't... I should have got this one. I, I put. Uh, are you, oh, wait. Are, I didn't sorry. Write, I, didn't know, I didn't know what to write. Okay, are we ready? Yes. I put sunburn. So did I. Okay. I wrote sun chair. <laughs> so me and, what? I, me and I get three. Wait, sun no, chair? Sun chair. I was thinking about the beach, you know, oh. when you're like, oh, you're laying back. Like, okay, that I thought you were going to put shine. That's sunshine? what I had in my head oh, after I wrote Oh, I should have done that. I yeah. thought you were going to put sunburn because you got a little sunburn a couple, couple days ago. I'm later. trying to. We're all tied at eight, <laughs> oh, no. according oh. to. Our lovely scorekeeper, Seth. Sethany. 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 He's a girl. <laughs> the all girl game. He's I'm like honestly panel. kind of blind even with my glasses. So he looks Seth is yeah. like coming no through. The score is if, honestly. It's, it's eight, 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 eight. Okay. Eight. I think we need to show uh, Seth Sethina's look today. Yeah. Yes. Somebody. Was <laughs> yeah. This is, how, this is how we. That's how we do things at the bottom. Sethina. For the oh, all-female yeah. panel. Sethany. Oh. <laughs> 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 we can see here. Oh. The score is all tied at eight. I have very bad handwriting. <laughs> if that's bad, you don't even want to see mine. <laughs> the honestly. The hair. Okay. Okay. Note blank. Ooh. Notebook. 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 So now, I'll do we all put notebook? Week. Yeah. All we one point. We need to be a little sync. bit more unique. We're two yeah. in sync. Okay. Yeah. Have <laughs> calm girls. Only like five girls that hang out all the time. <laughs> okay. Super blank. <gasps> Superman. <sighs> Superhero. Superpowers. Oh. 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 <laughs> no points. That was sad. Same train, we all gonna, stopped at different we stations. <laughs> okay. We have brick blank. Okay, I'm thinking of Jersey. Okay, I put house, like the song. Like That's good. Brick, brick wow. oven, like what, you, what? what makes pizzas better. I just put brick wall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> interesting. Okay, I actually have one thing left. Oh, wait. You can I'm write on the back. Oh, right on the back. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. what I'm doing. <laughs> These are, yeah, those are done, so. Okay, we have trash blank. This could make or break us. Good. Okay. Trash can. Trash can. Trash can. Dang it. <laughs> I almost put I bag, mean, too. I think we're okay. a little too insane. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to round the back. Okay. Tied at 10. Tied at oh my 10. Gosh. Okay. We have <laughs> sub blank. Cat row really quick. <laughs> okay. Can I ask the host a question? Does it have to be? <laughs> the we can't hear. <laughs> Audience will hear. That's true. Okay, 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 okay. What? What? I put substitute. <laughs> my what? My what? I feel like my question, well, my question was, does it have to be a whole word or can I just finish the word off? Because I couldn't think of anything sub. Yeah. Really? No. No. Cat, please tell me. Subway. Subway. Yes. That's one oh. word too, though. Of course. Yeah, true. That's one word too. Yeah. No. Like, how does not What's the difference that. between institute and way? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wrote on my card. Institute. So okay. The back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Deanna and Cat got three points on that. They yeah. got thirteen. So Mia's got ten. I'll fight for you, Mia. Don't Thank worry. Thank you. Thank you, Haley. We need someone to win. Yeah. yeah. Train blank. Oh, 
Good. Yep. Train wreck. Train wreck. I put train station again. Like. Okay. <laughs> Three points for Mia and Deanna. Deanna has taken a. Oh yeah. <sighs> sixteen. Uh, Okay. Give me a lead to be a winner. I know we gotta get up. I'm okay. taking Michael McKenzie's place. <laughs> Shark blank. Ooh. This one could be like Tank. The boy. show. I said Shark Shark Island. Boy. What'd you say? Shark Attack? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Shark Boy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I do like Shark Boy. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Bath. Blank. <laughs> I was gonna write Bath and Body Works. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. That's bathtub what? is what I wrote. <laughs> bath bomb. I put bath bomb. Yes. Yes. Oh. I almost wrote bath tub. Me this. I actually showed my card before you guys. Wait, were why am I it's okay, five? Because we well, I, so I was like, I was ready. can't so. see that far. It's okay. <laughs> I was I ready. Got Deanna with 19, <laughs> Kat with 16, and Mia with I think thir 13. 13. Okay. We're at our last card. Okay. So. This is it. Okay. This is it, yeah. Fast blank. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to decide how we want to do I'm it. done. Wait, wait, no. I already put wait. it. You know what? We're just going to go for it. Okay, this is just the first thing that came to my mind. It's random. <laughs> um, I put Fast Money off of last Buzz episode when we played okay. Family Feud. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Fast food. Oh, oh I, put, uh, I put Fast Car. <laughs> I was gonna write I almost okay. put that. Yeah, that yeah. Yeah. Nobody. So oh. that means that mean Deanna yeah. is our winner yeah. with yeah. 19 yeah. points. Yeah. Good job, Deanna. I mean, weird that you brought the game to the table and you ended up <laughs> winning. Sounds like but, some cheating. Oh, but that's okay. But, okay. yeah. So, any words from the winner? Um, I refuse to ever lose on a Buzz episode ever again. I guess we'll never know. After Mafia, oh where y'all killed me. Uh, I told you I'd be back for revenge. And, uh, yeah, it's a winning streak starting now. Thank you. All right. Well, that's going to do it here on The Buzz here for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys later. This has been a production of Waynesburg Community Television.